thanks God and thanks everyone um, to let me share my study here. Uh, how long time I have? 20 minutes? There we go. Yeah. Okay, I will, I will try to keep the time and uh, if I talk too much, just uh, stop me. <laughs> uh, yes, um, uh, yeah. uh, we talk about the big screen because it's like a uh, um, back background of the um, big cities right now. Um, so uh, we, will not, we will go uh, pass through this part very quick because uh, some kind of approach um, <clears throat> It's um, started in, I mean, uh, 10 years ago, people talk about uh, how the image um, related uh, with uh, people's daily life in the cities, um, just like a different kind of um, <coughs> material. I mean, the readings um, show us uh, some concepts uh, from the 1960s. Uh, the uh, architecture scholar uh, David Lynch said the image of the city is not only be there. It's, all, it's also constructed by the people living in the city. Uh, so um, we also have the uh, everydayness of you know what kind of mm, people mm, working. Just like sorry. Um, so our question is you know uh, how does the big screen attract to the individuals, and uh, how does the big screen related to the to the people's urban experience? And uh, then the third question is uh, what kind the public life was created by the interaction of the big screen and the people on the street. Uh, we all deal with uh, some kind of stories related to um, our project. Uh, one is uh, um, <coughs> one is a huge, huge um, <coughs> project um, led by uh, Chris Barry, Professor Chris Barry. Um, he did uh, some field work in Shanghai, and he think about there was three types of uh, big screen. I mean, in Shanghai, it uh, means something uh, for this city. One is a sample, um, it's a case study in the uh, technology museum. He think about that kind of big screen, it's like an illusion of a science and a fantasy for the future. Uh, and another type, type is, um, 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 it's a big screen on the airport and the um, train stations that this kind of big screen to give us information to manage the flow of the people. The third tape he used, uh, there was one case we are studying here. It's, uh, we call that a Wu Jiao Chang. It's a location, commercial location, very close to Fudan campus. Um, uh, Chris Berry think about that's commercial charming. And uh, you know, <clears throat> it's show the city's um, glories. Uh, for people, and but now we just uh, try to you know and he did uh, some kind of interview, but uh, we try to go get more information and experience from the people, and of, of course in the same year there was a publication in a Chinese journal of communication, um, Professor um, McQuill have an article there to talk about the three types of, for the new practice of public watching. Uh, one is uh, uh, public space um, broadcasting. It's like the BBC big pro big big screen project. That looks like the big screen as a display of the public broadcasting. Uh, the third one is uh, uh, some kind of like the citizen participation. The case study is in the Melbourne um, Federation uh, Square. But I just you know uh, last night I passed by there. I didn't see the big screen. It's just gone. I don't know if I find the right, not find the right place or not. I mean, and, and the third one is uh, Amsterdam. There was a project about the, the stage of the art, modern art. But in Shanghai, that's totally, totally different because uh, now all these um, big screens in Shanghai is um, owned by, um, most of them owned by four huge commercial companies. And uh, uh, the um, content um, management cannot allow the, the big screen to be uh, as a real media to put, I mean, the uh, news or uh, the uh, entertainment. Only one company, there was an ad advertisement company, but it belongs to the Shanghai TV station. So they have some kind of content uh, come from the local news and the local uh, reality show but not that much. Most of the big screen are commercials. So it's not like Scott talk about the three types we have. 
third time. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, for my personal experience, we were not uh, interested that much for this you know, contents of the big screen. But we watched people just stop on the street. We don't know why. So there was three locations in Shanghai we chose mm -hmm. for our field works in last summer and this summer. And we do some uh, deep interviews here. We try to see you know, how people watch this big screen and why they stop. If they stop a little bit longer, we will talk with them. Then we find some interview. <coughs> This is the first location, it's, it's East Nanjing Road. This is a traditional commercial shopping street, I mean, with a lot of billboard and uh, uh, the uh, nail lights. I mean, uh, it's very traditional, but now they have some, they have some uh, big screens there. It's uh, just that uh, we can see some big screens on the street, and the people were all the commercial, almost the commercial, and with the fashion show on different, uh, based to the different uh, different stores outside. Uh, the third one, the third one is, uh, the, the second one is Xu Jiahui. This area is a commercial area uh, based on a high level standard um, area in Shanghai. So some people think that's all the middle class, you know, um, living around and with uh, business buildings. They have some uh, big screen. Of course, it's owned by this for different for commercial company. Uh, in from 2007 to 2010, there was three years in Shanghai. They have some independent uh, artists that try to do the electronic art festival use this big screen and very successful. They put uh, every year in the summer. They put some um um. Exp if they put some modern art ele electronic um, projects on this big screen and also some students' works, uh, peace works. Uh, but the, in, the, in, the, in the beginning, the local government support a lot because they want attracting, attracting more people. But uh, uh, the first reason they stop is uh, uh, because of the sh uh, uh, 2010, uh, the Shanghai Expo. Uh, the government, local government tried to uh, try to manage all the um, different um, billboards uh, for this Shanghai Expo. So they didn't allow the, to do this modern art shows there. Uh, they wanted all these um, billboards and the big screens for the promotion for Shanghai mm -hmm. Expo. And all, another reason this, this project stopped because they have the, the artists cannot find more money to support. In the, in the, uh, in the three years, it's the financial support come from the uh, come from the community government, but uh, they want to pay more because they think people is enough and they, they don't want to do this. Uh, but this area is different from Nanjing Road. The Nanjing Road um, has a lot of tourists traveling there. The once the east side of Nanjing Road is connected with the bond, we think that means uh, the. A commercial um, and also the uh, people uh, in, 19, in 1930s, that's very international. Then the west, the west end of East Nanjing Road is a stop in People's Square. Uh, that is the pop, uh, political central for New Shanghai being after uh, 19, uh, I mean, um, yeah, after the uh, 1947, before the, after the Shanghai Revolution. Uh, liberalism. So, Xu Jiahui is different. People think that's a high level standard and the middle class there, and they have this kind of big screen. Um, the third place is Wu Jiao Chang. That's uh, Chris Barry do the field work there. Um, I mean, in the early time, we, so many people don't think Wu Jiao Chang is real Shanghai, just like uh, my PhD advisor, um, he passed away last year in 90 years old. Uh, he lived in, his family lived in Wu Jiaochang almost 60 years, so when I visit him at his, his home, sometimes his wife is not at home, so I will ask where is he, and this, he will say, oh, she was not home today, she went to Shanghai. It's just like this area is not Shanghai, mm -hmm. but now it's so fashion, and these things um, shows in a, uh, in a movie, two, uh, three years ago, American movie, um, the title is Her. It's a, it's a story about a man, uh, 
a man is a writer, fall in love with a, a voice come from a computer like a Siri. And the voice, the voice actor, actress is uh, Scarlett Johnson. Uh, I mean, this seems like a, a, in, that, the, in that movie, that means a city in the future. So this is <coughs> different. Uh, I will very quick to share some of our findings, uh, findings here. Well, when we ask people, you know, you choose some words, three words, three keywords uh, to describe the big screen. They will use the bright, huge, and uh, high level, high technology. Especially the young Shanghainese, I mean the local people, they feel so proud for this because that means high technology. And the high technology is a, a signification or characters of Shanghai. Shanghai is a modern city with a high technology. So they have some words to pick up this kind of words to describe the big screen. And uh, we talk about what kind of contents they like. Of course, they are almost commercials, but commercials have different <coughs> parts. There was some, some public service advertisement. Just like all, uh, there are some organizations, they run to the big screen. This is in, on the band. Uh, in a few years ago, that was uh, a day was uh, a ceremony of a food dam. So uh, the food dam, um, uh, I mean, the, uh, how can we say that? It's a alumni association. Yeah, yeah, alumni association. They run this all this big screen. I mean, um, in front, in the uh, east side of the uh, uh, Hongfu River. Then they put this um, signs, I love food. Uh, so, <coughs> some kind of the public service advertisement and some, of, some promotion from the different kind of organizations there. So people think, you know, they like, they like the huge, huge image with this kind of promotion, uh, just like a college student tell us, he said, he said he wanted more, he want more this public service advertisement, not, not only commercials. Um, and most people like the, like the, uh, the movie, the film trials, film trials. Um, and also there was old man, um, some people you know, watch the uh, local TV news on the street. So we talk with a uh, uh, very interesting story. We talk with the old man retired. We asked him how many watch the TV set at your home. He said three. Then why you come to the street every day to watch the news here? And he said because you know uh, there was only the new fashion TV set on the <coughs> living room. Um, then the old one is the one is in kitchen, one is in bedroom, and I don't want to stay there. And I sat there on the street. I can smoke and I can not only watch the news, but I can still watch you know. Fantastic, uh, lovely ladies, you know, close by me. <laughs> <coughs> and if I stay at home, my wife will watch TV drama and not news. So he said he has he have relaxed and uh, leisure time on the street every day come to watch the news. And uh, he said he come to the street to watch the news. That's a very uh, a good excuse to his family. You know, I want to go walk around outside and uh, find some fun. So it's not only the content attracting the people, but the, the environment. And just like you know, uh, young people uh, sometimes they just stop in the um, <coughs> uh, cinema. Uh, sometimes they find uh, uh, what kind of movie they want to watch, you know, uh, online. But sometimes they just stand there to watch the film trials. That makes the decision what kind of movie they will watch tonight. And also, you know. Um, uh, some people like to play the uh, interaction games, but the, the games is not, you know, they want maybe like the Pokemon games can, on the big screen, but no, they are with very simple games, so they feel not enough, but they want to get more. Uh, and also, people think <coughs> beyond the contents, beyond the contents, they are with the essential elements of the buildings outside just like the natural screen, skin of the building. So people, some people, you know, they think the big screen makes the building outside looks good, looks good. 
And uh, so they said, you know, if no big screen there was at night, it was dark. That's not good looking. And some people, they think, you know, because this big screen, it means city. It means city. So we talk with a young lady. It's come from the Anhui province, from the rural uh, countryside. And she worked along, um, she worked along, uh, I mean, uh, as a clean woman uh, in a big shop uh, in the Nanjing Road. And she told us because the life is so tough and every day, you know, his job, he, he, she graduated from the high school, so she has some one of the reading things, but have no chance to go to university. So um, she thinks, you know, that life is so tough, but every time when she just walk on the street to see the street screen, that reminds herself, I'm not in the countryside right now. I'm in a big city. That's different from, you know, my parents, from my old generation. I have some future here, maybe. So she thinks that's very important for her. After the heavy day, I mean, labor days, then she walk around on the street and she thinks she just like, you know, the city girls walk there and to watch these big squids. So, also, um, the people think because of the big screen, there was like, like a new stage. Not only the people work on the street, but also the people working on the street uh, with, uh, was, uh, uh, with all this uh, like the motion billboards, the big screens, it's uh, as a landmark. They put into people together. So when they just uh, try to wait their friends, they said, they, they would like you know, to choice the big screen because if your friends didn't come, then you can watch. That's not boring. And also, young people, young people really think just like uh, there was, a, uh, there was a, <clears throat> a sense of the big city to put the fashion, uh, fashion model walking on the big screen and the young people walking <coughs> on the street, put them together as a new city image. It's not uh, only, you know, in the physical, um, physical space, but uh, both in the physical space and uh, on the screen. So let's put them together to become something new. So there was a uh, discussion. Uh, now people really think uh, the big screen represents the, as uh, metropolitanism. Some spirit of the metropolitan day. This is a background of urban environment and this te technology, high technology, and the land box. Land box, just like you know, in Wu Jiao Chang, there was some new science. So my students were ask, ask me, we can just uh, meet, meet in front of this big screen, then we will go somewhere. Uh, so this is uh, the one uh, discussion, and another one is we think. We think for the individual's urban experience, it, um, big screen really creating something new. On the timeline, people think that means new, it's a trade and a contemporary. And in a space, people think that uh, that means a commercial center and public space and with, uh, um, with a, a prosperous area. Uh, more people and uh, um, it's busy. And also in the virtual background of the city, it's a new virtual dimension of the public participation in the urban life. That's myself, you know. One day, I just uh, tried to meet one of my colleagues there for lunch, but she was late, so I had to wait, wait there. And there was uh, interaction, um, small piece games. If you stop in some spot, they will take picture for you. And if you want this picture, you can uh, download the uh, app, then you can um, print the picture uh, or by yourself. So we think that uh, some kind of pu pu uh, public participation for the urban life. <coughs> and also, the, uh, if we talk about what means of the big screen, it's uh, image city <coughs> as a uh, new style of the metropolitan. It's uh, the first point is the big screen is not only the constitutes the city, but also it's intermediate, the city. They put so many things together. And the second is a, a different location. I mean, 
I mean, uh, the locations interacted with the people's different feelings and makes the different meanings. Just like in uh, uh, in Wu Jiao Cha, people have a lot of credit for this big screen because it's uh, uh, a lot of commercial, and there was two big screen just broken in quite a long time this summer. So there was almost nothing there, and the people think that dark makes people feel very uncomfortable, and uh, because of the uh, the space design, they are was not very easy to watch at the contents of the big screen. People like it because if, if you are in very far, you will see it like a landmark, but it's hard to watch the contents. So a lot of people can, I mean, critic about the big screens in the Wu Jiao area. But in Xu Jiahui and in Nanjing Road, they feel that's very good. You can just set very close to the big screen, and then you can uh, play games with the big screen and you can watch the movie trails. So, people have different feelings and a different background. They bring their background to the city and they have very heavy and tight interaction with the big screen and the environment space of the, uh, of the cities. So, we think the big screen creates and produces both the public space and the public urban life. Urban life, just like uh, one of our interviewees told us, um, he come from he come from um, come from uh, uh, southwest China, and he tried to find a job here. Just graduated from university, and he think that's a big city, very busy, and with this kind of so many big screen. And he said in in his hometown there was no big screen, and in his there was a city nearby his hometown. They only have two big screens, but in Shanghai, he felt so shocked for so many big screens. So he said, that means something. Just like the, you know, young people standing in Manhattan said, I will do something here. The young people told, the young guy told us, we, I want to do something here. I must to be in the city because it's so gorgeous. And it looks like you know so high technology and the fashion, and that, that's what I try to find for my future. So people have their feelings with this kind of contents. I always think maybe commercial uh, contents will not attract people, but uh, so many things beyond the content contents, then they have uh, means have the new meanings for the people's daily life. Thanks.